Gerg von Frunsberg führt uns an. Tra -la 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 -la. George von Frunsberg was a South German soldier and Landsknecht leader in the Imperial Habsburg service. He is considered one of the most important German infantry tacticians and war entrepreneurs of the early modern period. Its name is closely associated with the protracted battles of the Habsburg Emperor Maximilian I and Emperor Charles V for supremacy in northern Italy. Frunsberg is known, among other things, for his motto, Much Enemy, Much Honor, which has become a household word. George von Frunsberg was born in 1473 as the son of the captain of the Swabian League Ulrich von Frunsberg and his wife Barbara von Richburg at Mindelberg in Swabia. He entered military service early. In 1492, he followed his father in the army of Imperial Captain Marguerite Frederick II from Brandenburg Ansbach. In the spring of 1499, Frunsberg took part in the Swabian War against the Swiss and had the opportunity to gain initial experience in warfare. In the same year, he commanded the Army of the Holy Roman Empire, which was led by the German King and later Emperor Maximilian I. Sent to help the Duke of Milan, Ludovico I. L. Moro, against the French. The Swiss victories over the Imperials made him realize that the era of armored horsemen was over and the focus of combat was shifting to the infantry. Maximilian I appointed him field captain of Tyrol, where he created a powerful infantry of pikemen based on the Swiss model. This later earned him the nickname Father of the Landsnicks. Frunsberg perfected the tactics of the so-called Gewirt or Violent Pile, which was an extremely deeply echelon formation of pike carriers. He wrote several works on war tactics such as the Faithful Council. Because of his successes in the War of the Lonsuit Succession, he was knighted by Maximilian I in 1504. He had led a Landsneck regiment from Mamingen into the decisive Battle of Wenzenbach. With his well-drilled troops, Frunsberg won further significant victories. In 1513, together with a Spanish contingent, he defeated a numerically superior Venetian army at Criazzo. His off-quoted motto, Much Enemy, Much Honor, comes from this battle. The Truer Wrath and Bedinkin Font An old, tried and experienced warrior, attributed to Frunsberg and dated to the end of 1522, describes the tactics of extending the front in order to cover the previously enormous depth of the quarter piles. The front five or six members are the ones who win or lose the battle, and the more people who can get to work through the broad order, the easier it is. Frunsberg celebrated his most spectacular success in the Battle of Pavia in 1525. But he had to march there first, so Frunsberg marched. Oh, <laughs> 
der Klopfe weg Aus Luft lass mir kein Ich mein, das Druck wird sein Lass dir sehen und sein Wie dir wieder dich Hört und Fuß, er führt uns an La 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 Ja, die Schlacht gewann Da man vor Pavia Komm, scher heut, wie sie gleich sang La 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 Arrived in Pavia, where there were 25,000 men, including many Swiss and mercenaries, under King Francis I, had entrenched themselves as a siege force and harassed the weak garrison of the city. The Spaniards and Germans inflicted a crushing defeat on the enemy, with Frunsberg's 6,000 veterans from Swabia and Tyrol playing a decisive role. With almost 20,000 soldiers, the now 53-year-old Frunsberg marched against the troops of the French allied Pope in 1526 and defeated them at Brescia at the end of the year. Frunsberg always addressed his subordinates as sons or brothers, who saw him as the father of the Landsnecks. But in the winter of 1526-1527, the situation was tense. His men had not received any pay for weeks. George von Frunsberg had pledged his family silver for the equivalent of 12 million euros to pay the mercenaries. However, Emperor Charles V denied his loyal commander the urgently needed financial support. Only the prospect of the sack of Rome held the troops together. However, when rumors spread about an impending peace agreement with the Pope, open revolt broke out in the field camp near Bologna on March 16, 1527. The Landsnecks chased their commanders out of the camp, gathered in front of Frunsberg's tent, and shouted incessantly money. 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 The intrepid captain stepped in front of the raging crowd and tried to calm them down. But as the angry men continued to shout for pay and even turned their spears threateningly against him, the physically and mentally emaciated man was at the end of his strength. Struck by a stroke, Funsberg sank onto a drum and lost consciousness. Money. 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 